we pick up the Lolita first time for Beloisky. Okay. And it's so good because it is. It really is, exactly. Oh, wow. this, is a, this is a hero that has been left under the, uh, you know, in, in this draft so far based on the two games. You haven't seen it at all. Nope. Actually, no, based on the nine games they played in the upper brackets, they haven't played this at all. This is insane. Finally, bringing it up the Lolita. Yep. And look, they're going up against two marksmen. Like you said, it's really good timing. But Blacklist, yep. they're forced to now. Only Lilia has opened up for that mid laner if they do want to put this Nathan in the jungle. Yeah. But then again, uh, there's a lot of choices, right? Rafaela, as well as the Barats. Uh, I mean, Rafaela provides for the Barats to become a jungler. So it is indeed going to be the case. And we're going to be put in that Esmeralda spot again. Esmeralda versus Uranus. Hadji Beatrix. Hadji Beatrix, exactly. And look at him Ooh. go. Uh, Coach Yeb yeah, making sure that his team is ready to go. It's going to be a mountain to climb. It's only just two more wins for Blacklist International. But for Onyx PH, they have to start with zero. Well, let's see, let's see right now. The coaches will show each other respect right there. And man, based on the draft, I feel like both have a very good draft. It's all going to come down to the execution. but. One thing I'm scared of is Onyx PH, they usually just really like to play on with those winning lanes. Now, with this draft, you can kind of say that they're winning lane. I don't know about it. I think that the, my, my guess is Farsa is going Farsa, into, yeah. the mid, into the gold lane. Farsa is gold, yeah. Yeah, confirm Farsa is gold lane, and then we're going to see that trademark Cho in mid for Hatred. Yep. And, you know, as for Blacklist, we already confirmed it. Haji on the Beatrix. Let's see how this performs in game number three in this best of seven for the World Championship. Onyx PH versus Blacklist International. I'm loving it. Well, who would have thought that we'll go back in 2021 for a double tank setup in the mid lane? And the support rolls, right? Whoa, it has been a long time. Haji blasting away at Boloisky, forcing out that flicker. Oh, my Venus puts in a little more just to make sure. Forcing out an early recall down bottom, but uh, here in this lane. Oh, oh. Hey, whoa, close. He's going to get denied. His gold oh. cart barely gets it. Marky with the wings by wings, scaring him to death. Almost to death. Oh, look at the Barats. I think he's going to make a move on to Farsa. Hello. That's a 2v1 down there. Kairi using that passive so perfectly. They're going to get first oh. blood on oh, the Farsi. No a surprising amount of damage on the Barats. Kairi chases oh. away too much. It's a double kill for the big dino oh on Wise. God. Ultimate bonding experience. That is the name of the game. What the heck was that? I have, I'm lost for words right now. Wise. That's a massive lead, man. Wise was just phenomenal, using the so-called teamwork as, as well as the big guy passive. And Onyx PH made a, made a mistake trying to go close range against the Barats. That's what you never want to do. Surely you have the passive from, uh, from, uh, Weiss, from Yi Sun Shin, but both Farsa as well as this uh, Yi Sun Shin so low makes it so that just one kill for Weiss make, will uh, proc the killing spree and eventually will win the 2v1. Not to mention the holy healing. So yeah, perfectly put. It's a mini ultimate bonding experience, but it was so clutch. A thousand gold ahead already. Blacks International oh not even God. starting up this turtle. They're going to pull it over to their end of this nest. Mountain Shocker checking where everyone is. Edward going to try to keep Delarski at bay. Here's all four members wailing away. Oh, maximum range on this turret. And that's going to be Detna's welcome game. My brother oh. throwing him into a wall. Kyrie going to secure it. Bombs away. Haji throws out. Edward? No caution to the wind. That's Kyrie taken down. Traded out for Edward. Two for one so far. Boloisky falls. Blacklist International securing the body count but gives up the turtle. Was that worth it? Definitely, Definitely not, worth, not. not for on a PH, yeah. for sure. They get the turtle, surely. But then again, Blacklist International again with the baits. They lure Onyx PH into that spot once again where they were clumped out together. And with the AOE from Blacklist International, it's just way too good of a damage. And the fact that they also had to use Marky into the mid lane. Oh, oh they face check game. into that Numenon Blast and Delarski punishing them, putting so many stacks on that Ionic Edge. Spots out the Queen. He's not done. He's going to try to take down this Rafaela. Holy healing. Detna's welcome. Delarski purifies and let's go. Wolf, you were saying? Yeah. They had to use the Farsa into the mid lane, which kind of left Oheb free with what? at least two lanes. Oh! 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 
Oh! He really has finally been gets it. So there's a little bit of uh, delayed gratification for Onyx. Look at that face, Marky, with the smirk right oh. there. He's so happy about that. But again, Blackness International now early on already pushing in the pace. This is gonna, not going to be good. Wait a minute. Oh, wow. oh that's okay. going to be a fight here in the purple buff. A punish onto the attempted steal and invade. Wow, oh. again, it's a holy healing and the killing spree. Deadly combo. So fixated into trying to punish Weiss this time. And so far, Weiss has been winning all of them. 3 0 and 1 on this Barrett with the help of Oh My Venus. Just not leaving this. This is again Rafaela and Barrett's combination. And on and Blacklist International are really the big proponents of this. And they have mastered it so well. Well, let's see right now. Blacklist International going in with the winning lanes, able to get so much done on the map. Again, this is one of the pure, the critical elements that made Onyx PH such a force in that upper bracket, the winning lanes that are able to set up for the turtle, for that neutral objectives, the banana split, remember? And now Blacklist with their own winning lanes and their winning jungler. It's so hard for Onyx Philippines to just crack open and just play their game. The banana split hasn't been a thing since game two. Yep, in a vacuum, yes, Onyx is winning the lanes 1v1. Dilarski dictating the pace, I mean, kicking Edward out of his lane, but when it comes to these exchanges, these exchanges, I mean, Blacks International just winning completely, securing that turtle, turtle, forcing Boloiski away, and in this case, wow. it's fine. Edward looking low, Delarski gets a kill. Haji slain. unable to protect his Esmeralda. They're gonna have to disengage here, and look how deep Onik is. Yeah, again, Onik Philippines, this is what they need to do. They need to start to play their own game, play their game. Oh no! Ah! Boloiski taking slain. down the shield was not enough to yep. protect him, plus the tenacity. Haji on this Beatrix, yep. something else. This was far too low. I think it's, it's again, Weiss just running literally uh, over Red this uh, Lolita. And Lolita cannot, uh, cannot stop the damage output coming up from Weiss. And they're just using uh, this uh, Barats with the turtle buff so well. And look at how much chunk, uh, uh, how big of a chunk of the damage he deals against oh. all these heroes. That's the strength of a jungle Barats. And with the Rafaela to help him out with Blue more, more movement speed. And then eventually the War Axe rocking. It's just, it just makes so much place for the team. And eventually, you know, we just talked about it. Two sentences. And eventually Blacklist gets a push up the bottom lane. You're right. Marky has to be present. If not, they'll just suffer the same consequences. Wise trampling over them with this Barat. So they have to perfectly time these team fights. Uh, I'm guessing Kyrie has to be on point every time. Yeah, finally now, it's actually a switch, right? Usually we see Onyx PH, the ones with the early lead. Oh my goodness, picking up another kill on the board. And they're looking for more here. Onyx Philippines on the other map, on the other side, I mean. That's it. Haji goes for the rage, and there's a way of the no dragon. Damage. But they just served him up to Kyrie. Edward pushing them back. Beloisky with the Luminon Blast. Trapped between three members. They're gonna try to get this kill. And there's the rage. There's the passion. And there's a trade so far. One for two. Haji goes down. Cleared out for Edward. And they're just pushing in. So many turrets going down. Top, bottom, mid. Only gonna be stopped by Marky. Wings by wings away. Here comes all my Venus and Edward biting down. Marky's gonna survive this one. Mountain Shocker. Oh my Venus catches a few, but why is he gonna steal away this oh orange? Oh my goodness. Map, total map control for the side of Blacklist International as Oheb is now freely farming around. When Blacklist International makes a play on the opposite side of the map, there is Oheb just taking turrets. And now they are farmed a 4,000 gold lead for Blacklist International. Two levels right now for Wise on top of Kyrie. Oh, Hatred. Okay. Way of the Dragon okay. by Hatred on top of Catches the Space Time Walker. Oh, the Winner Blast. No one home. That's going to be the turtle. Prioritized here by Yi Sin Shin. Onyx Page gets it, but at what cost? His life. Edward takes down Kyrie. Boloiski and Dilarski are running. Here comes Edward dancing around Boloiski. Put up a shield. I'm going to eat it. Dilarski as well. There's a Holy Healing stunning the Uranus. Look at the damage coming in from Marky. Blasting Edward. away at the Esmeralda. He's wow. dancing away, prancing to safety. And Wise looking to punish. He's going to stomp down onto this Uranus. And here comes Edward and Haji answering back. Renner from Haji. And there's a jump falling star move from behind the turret. Hatred looking for a target. Knocks up Wise. Oh. And there's Dutton's welcome and the way of the dragon. Wow. He still eats him up though. Num 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 num. That oh. goes the Barat. Venus goes as well. What a re-engage and a counter played. initiation by Onik, resulting in a two for none. What the heck is happening what now? Both of the that? teams going turn after turn again. 
both of the sides just baiting it out, and now we are going to take a look at a replay here, Will. Yeah, I think this is where we, get, we are going to see where that double stun came from. But yet I have to give it to Hatred that catching Wise off and then delaying this way of the Dragon for a little bit so that they can catch up. Eventually, there's the stun. It came from both Maloyski as well as Marky. And then eventually, they just took two heroes, cutting down the deficit to just 800 and getting the mid lane turret as well. Bottom lane push. Onyx Page have recovered, and it was off of them just trying to win the fights. The extended fights now, Blacklist International lost. Marky was the MVP in that fight, man. You see the, the yep. positioning of that man going over the wall from the orange buff, actually. Not ca getting caught in the choke point that Blacklist International set up with that Nibiru's passion. But now, Blacklist 4,000 gold lead already down to a 700. This is where Onyx PH can look for some fights, can look for that banana split. Yeah, they closed the gap and after two games, they finally figured out this fluid type of team play. This counter-engage front liner uh, light strategy, but actually they have to invest in Alita and Uranus to get it. But again, third time to charm. They might turn this around nine minutes, 30 seconds in. Blacklist retains their gold lead, keeping it at about a thousand, keeping that gap open. What's next here? Who do they target? I'm talking about Blacklist International because it looks like it's gonna be Boloyski Detna's welcome into that Lolita. Is this a fight that Ooh. Wise wants to take? Numinan Blast onto the big dino. Kyrie takes him down. Very nice pick off for the side of Onyx PH, and this is exactly where they find it. Oh! Oh, yeah. Hunty! From down south, taking down the Beatrix. Oh my god, oh. Marky. The snipe from downtown as they're gonna look for the Lord. But yes, what I wanted to mention is this is where they're most comfortable, right? Onyx PH with the lead and going banana split. Larsky on the Uranus just being such a nuisance, dis nuisance distracting every single Blue member. And look, objectives Lord. coming in their way. This is the Onyx PH I expected to oh, see in game one. Hatred finds one with the Feathered Airstrike response by Marky, zoning away Blacklist International. And now, with that one win, I mean, they did get a Lord here. They're backed on the lead. Onyx yep. PH about 2k. You know how they found the kill onto Weiss? Weiss was quite deep, yeah, but sure. But Onyx PH normally will not take the fight because that's a bad set anyways. Hatred actually spotted out both Ohev as well as Oh My Venus. And he actually wasn't found by both Ohev and Oh My Venus. That little opening, that little information that Onyx PH was able to get and read onto Blacklist International allowed them to make a play against this Weiss Barrett. And, and then eventually the fight. And that's exactly how Onyx should be playing, right? Answering heroes on a multiple level scale. Trade up. Trade <laughs> up. In that sense, oh, it was Edward Hatred who won. And now it's the Uranus on Dilarski down bottom. You have to you have to really oh. check him out. And Marky. What, the, what was that? The damage from Marky. That's just Marky. Red no, not just the damage. He, he's, play, he's playing. He actually he's playing like a Forza. He's playing like a brawler, exactly. a fighter. He's going in 1v5. He, he flew. He used <laughs> his mobility tool to engage. Yeah. Yeah. Check down bottom. Haji's in trouble. Oh, uses that Purify to protect himself. They're gonna go ahead and take down a turret in mid. Now gonna be the inhibitor in mid as well. So that's tier two. And all tier threes, they're all inside the base now. Boloisi catches quite a bit. Might have been too much. Flicker already used up. Holy healing by Oh My Venus. Then is welcome. Oh. Dilarski purifying. No, actually oh, just Marky staying again. alive. It's a cancelled engage by Blacklist International. And it's enough. Marky is just so ahead here. Even sitting at 3-1-5. Oh, no. He's playing like he's 6-0-3. Oh, I'm gonna have to give it to Baloyski though. He's very brave against Blacklist International. He's already at four deaths. Has to be very careful actually. But I think he knows his limits. Does have the Athena shield now on top of the... Grass. Finds one way the dragon oh, into oh, him. What? The has perfect assassination. Execution at its excellent. And slain. that's going to be one traded out though. I mean, worth it if you're going to be taken down the marksman. But look at this jump by Edward. Marky? Falling Star Moon onto Marky. Shutting down the Farsa two for two. It's getting messy, but it's what they need to close the gap. Yeah, Oni Philippines, this is exactly what they need. Make it messy because inside of Blacklist International, they want to make it just very organized. That's play right. with the ultimate bonding experience. And honestly, that is uh, why is that so surprising to us? Because we've seen more tank shows, more like semi-tank shows in this tournament. Finally seeing someone with high and dry and that much damage, able to just one-shot Oheb. That's yep. something that's so unnatural to us, to our eyes right now. And I would really have to give it to Hatred. He probably have played it so much. He knows exactly how much damage he's able to get. Yeah. I mean, nobody would have jumped in against three members of Blacklist International to think that there is a Rafaela to, to really sustain that guy. But 
Hatred knows that with his high and dry, he's gonna be able to get kills. Boleski is far oh. from home as well as Hatred, oh. but... There you go, spotted out. He knows exactly where everyone oh, is. No, no, wait, no, wait, no, 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 Caught out in the middle oh, of three. Oh, Another way of the dragon onto the big dino. Marquez is back with a feathered airstrike. Down Red goes Wise. Trade one for two so far. Marky getting Blue danced on. Taken down oh, by Haiji. And play. now Edward <laughs> gonna be protected. But yes, top lane is getting pushed in. Edward still onto Boloiski here. And this is exactly where Boloiski wants him. Wait a minute. And they let go. Oh, That's the split. Hatred, hatred. though. Oh. It's gonna be checked by one way oh. Venus. Spotted. Spotted. Look at the just. One attack with only fast just clear, almost clears the card. It's not over. They're not done. Delarski slowing down Haji. There's just, the Nibiru's passion. Oh. Haji looking away at the dragon. Oh, the stacks oh. as well. Oh. Down he goes. Boloiski, Hatred still alive. Edward looking for him. Numenon Blast unable to keep Oh My Venus down. Oh. No way he and gets Hatred out. outplaying him with a flicker. And there's the Falling Star Moon. Enough for Edward to take him down. So messy, so many team fights happening at the same time. Delarski chasing him down. And I think we're gonna slow down here. Pace yourselves, boys. Nope, we're not. We're not. Nope, it's just Delarski buying time. And there's the answer oh. by Marky. Feathered air strike plus the flame shot into the dark. Why Entropy switching it up and. Okay, they disperse. Oh, they disperse, my. finally. But then again, I think this is an opening for Blacklist International to actually take the Lord. They know that the Feathered Air Strike is not yet available. So that is really the call here, but it will be spotted out. Oheb, as well as Weiss, they deal so much damage onto the Lord, and oh my Venus as said, said, we're just zoning them out. Great call from Blacklist International. Red team has my the god, Lord. the way they chain these events together is just so unnatural, so well done by Blacklist International. But now it's time to take a look, deep dive at the items. Now we finally know why Hatred's doing that much. The Blade of Heptasis yep. and the BOD. This is a full damage show. But that last item, he was building a little bit defensively now, Boloiski finishing yep. up that dominance ice as well. At this point, we're talking about the late game. Who has it? I, I, I can easily say it's Blacklist International. They have two oh, marksmen. Wait, wait, wait. And no, they're trapped. What a pincer maneuver from Blacklist. Oh, they're going to get Marky here and Delarski. Boloiski still has a chance to retreat, putting up that shield. Oh. They let go and top lane. You got to watch top lane. Marky, Marky, Marky. This is very fast. Marky gets taken down. Lane. Too late. Charging up the Numenon Blast. Oh, him. Forward entropy in this case, backward trying to chase down Delarski and Edward goes to answer the show up top. Somebody has to stop this bottom lane push. No, no Blue one's going to. No one can to. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Boloiski is not going for the Lord. He's going for a fight. Yeah, because Kyrie made the call oh. and Haji answers back with a Nibiru's passion. Oh. But the damage is done. The damage is done. They get bottom lane inhibitor. Oh, what a sneak coming out from Blacklist International. A great read, knowing that Onyx Cage cannot engage anymore. And we're talking about scaling, right? Mirko, you asked this question. I would say it's easy for Blacklist International to take it. Then again, if you're looking at their itemization, it also amplifies that fact because now they have Athena's shield that costs Ohem and Weiss, which means that they now have the ways to deal with a Marky. And so far, as good as Marky was in the first few minutes of the game, this time at 16 minutes, it's more difficult. Surely his uh, uh, his contribution to team fights is still very good. The wave clear is still there. The damage, the burst is there. But then again, it's already being uh, answered by Blacklist International. Let's see right now. Blacklist International going in and zoning away Blue the members from the side of Onyx. Destroyed. The A should take the turrets down in the mid lane as well. Boloiski, he's there, but you know he's just tanking up damage. He's just trying to be a nuisance, but the damage much. is just simply too much from the side of Blacklist. Look at how they're able to control the map here. They take two waves for the price of one in that bottom side. Let it be. Yep, prime positioning for Marky though. Despite the rocky and turbulent past couple of team fights, he still knows his job. And right now, he put his foot on the clutch, changed gears, and then says that now they're playing a defensive game. Hatred, he's changed from being an assassin into a split pusher, and he's trying to find this free kill onto Edward. It's no way. three v. One, no, 4v1, but here comes the rest of Blacklist. Oh, They're gonna the go train. ahead and collapse. Look at the switch up. It's Marky now caught in no man's land. Ohem gets him. Play. And that's one down for the side of Onyx BH. Four defenders versus five. They're looking to siege. They're looking to get more inhibitors. Oh man, you gotta have to be amazed how Blacklist International is 
just baiting Onyx Page so many times. Hatred wants to go for a play, maybe onto Haji this oh, time. Oh, he's gonna get it. Is he gonna get it? Is he actually oh, looking to get it? Hatred, where are you going? Patience he has hatred. free entry. There's a Numenon Blast. They are gonna take this inhibitor yet again. Oh, Edward goes down maybe a little too forward. Hatred? Oh. No. No, 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 no. Patience from Hatred. Not here. They feel like they don't have enough damage, and I, I, honestly, I do understand. Marky was taken down. Without Marky, it's only Kyrie that can really do, go and deal damage. But if you look at the compositions, do you really want that Eason Chin to dash forward? Exactly. It's not going to be an option whatsoever. So very, very good patient play coming in. Even though it might have looked like a good play in the grandest, uh, gra it's just not gonna it's not gonna work, honestly. Yeah. You have to be careful if you're Onyx. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Detonus wow. welcome. Purified here, let go. Answer back by Marky. Feathered air strike, down goes Oh My Venus, popping the immortality. Oh. Kyrie taken down by Wise. Oh. There's a three match stun with the Numenon Blast. Oh. And oh. the flame shot down south, buying Boloisky one kill. Could there be another? Backwards entropy, here comes Edward, dancing around. Wise still trying to fight against his Uranus, still has an immortality. He's getting blasted Haji here is by here. Farsa. Here comes Haji. Oh, who is his spot? Oh, this is this is this hard. Lord. This Back is Lord. line took too much. That's a two for one, and eventually, yes, should convert into a lord. Yeah, it looked really good for Onyx PH, but you gotta remember that it was the jungler traded for Venus. All right, Venus is only a roamer in this game. He's only died two times. It's not going to be that huge factor that can it's turn our way, turn around the game, especially in this 19-minute mark. Onyx PH, they might have bit too much than they could chew right now. I agree. And now they're trying to split the map, but. With uh, more heroes in, uh, in favor in Black as International, but be good. Marky going for the steal will not get it. Not gonna happen. They tried it with Hatred. the Ionic Edge as well. Here comes Hatred, catches a blast from Haji and Oheb as well. Nice jump in by Edward, not gonna find any contact. Just like that, Blacklist International scores a Lord and is back to doing damage control on the map. It's relatively blue, so at least Onik has done good on that front. 4,000 gold lead for Blacklist, and they're going to be able to push in more here. Again, two inhibitor turrets taken away. That is two constantly pushing yeah. waves. They can build it up with the Lord as well. Look at the bottom side, slow pushing. Mid lane as well. Top side oh. can just do that, and this might just be the end of the game. This is most probably going to be the final fight either way. That's 20, 20 minutes. You have to be careful if you're Marky. You're the only wave clear, the guaranteed wave clear from Onyx PH, and He's already used it. He's already yep. used it. That is true. He's gonna have maybe one more by oh. the end. Delarski, though, look at the burst on the side of Blacklist. Doesn't get caught by the Renner. Here comes Wise facing out Baloyski. And there's the damage from Oheb. Entropy already in tow. Delarski putting up a perimeter. The only hope left for the peel. Marky with a feathered airstrike. Gonna stave the Lord here this time around, but they will lose top lane in Hitler. It's still. not over, they're still going. Look at how low Dilarski is popping him with immortality. There's an Umino Blast stun on the three. There's an immortality but pop. But the base, the base. Goes down. It was all about the base. Blacklist International Ooh. able to score three nil. What's Match happening? Point. Oh my goodness, and the punish was there. Blacklist International, they started this game strong. They're the, they're the lineup with the better scaling, but with two kills onto Wise, it allowed them to just control the lanes. By God, Onyx PH actually were able to recover, making this game free very interesting, but unfortunately, just the raw damage and scaling from both the Nate and the Beatrix. It was just way too good from Blacklist International, and now they're at match point. They did enough in that last team fight to move up the waves to make sure that Marky was overloaded when it comes to his responsibilities as the only good choice for wave clear and eventually snuck in that win. Could have been close, could have been one more defense, especially after that three-man Numenon Blast. It's gonna